Odds are uh, very high that our next guest has written for at least one show that you love. Very high. Welcome to the show, writer, showrunner, podcaster, and social media star Michael Jammin, uh, joining us this morning uh, to talk a little bit about you're giving away the secrets. Have you heard from people in the industry going, hey, sh Michael, shh, don't tell them everything? Uh no, no one said anything. Someone did forward one of my videos to my manager saying, hey, have you heard of this guy? He's like, yeah, it's my client. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I've been trying to write a couple novels for like 100 years and stuff. So I've been <laughs> watching your videos. I learned things from your videos. Uh, oh, thank you. It's very good stuff. Um, but is there something like if you an aspiring screenwriter, somebody who works for television, they're watching us right now, what would you tell them? Oh, you just got to start writing. I mean, you, you don't, everyone wants to start off right now. How do I sell my screenplay? But no one asks the question, well, how do I write a good screenplay? Like they, mm, they right. just assume they already have a, you know, a hit. So you, you got, it's a long process to get good enough to actually sell something. So just keep writing and keep writing, write for yourself, share it, stage a play, do whatever, get some feedback from the audience. You, you can do that with your local, you know, community theater. Uh, also, uh, when Cody said he was asking for people who might be watching, he really meant he and I, because uh, <laughs> I have also been trying to write a screenplay. And so while we have you here, let me ask selfishly, I'm terrible at writing dialogue. How do you, how does, how do you get dialogue better? You know, uh, a good trick is just to record it into, you know, on your phone or whatever and play it oh. back. And uh, it should sound obviously natural how people actually talk. You can go to a coffee shop and just listen. It's it, when you the thing about listening to people, how they how dialogue is talk is, is spoken. People don't listen. So if you yeah. listen to a conversation, you go, wow, these two people aren't even listening to each other. They're just taking turns <laughs> talking. That's good. You know, study that. That's interesting. Oh, really? OK. <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's yeah. a great one. Uh, one of the things, uh, one of the videos I love is when you're talking about certain things that happen on television uh, that don't happen in real life. Uh, like in television, nobody says goodbye on the phone. <laughs> Why is that? Why don't they say goodbye? It, because you have to cut. Like, you you know, your running time, let's say, is 22 minutes. And then you hear, goodbye. I'll see you later. Okay, I'll talk to you. Goodbye. Like, we <laughs> cut all that. We, cut, we call that truffle. Like, we don't need that. And you got to get it down to time. And I know it sounds awkward, but it's like, are you going to keep the goodbye or are you going to keep some great line of dialogue? You're going to lose the goodbye. So yeah, probably my goodbye is better than the dialogue, quite honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, uh, we wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, another thing that you reveal on this is the residual check. <laughs> we, we love this. That you uh -huh. open up these things and you talk about it, but you also get you know, like flack from people because they're like, "Why are you getting a check? You already did that job like 20 years ago." Yeah, right. Well, first of all, everyone wants to know what's in my wallet. It's not a lot. You don't have to look, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they would pay residuals. Residuals are an exchange for authorship and copyright claims, and so the studios want to pay the residuals. They just right. don't want to pay a lot, but you know they want those rights. Uh huh. So what's what's the smallest check you've ever received? I have some I can't cash because like, you know, I, I do mobile banking. They're like, no, no, we don't take 11 cents. Oh. You got to save it for 13 or whatever. So. <laughs> I used to work with Mark Marin. He's my he's one of my favorite all time comedians. What was yeah. it like working on Marin with Marin? Mark is great. I mean, so we, yeah, my partner, and I ran that show for four seasons and Mark was game like Often you work with an actor who like, eh, I don't really want to look stupid, you know, but Mark is like, I don't like he'll, he's game for anything. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was really on the edge. I really I enjoy that so much because it it was about being honest. It really wasn't about being jokey or silly. Right. All the comedy came from that from just being honest and vulnerable. So it really is inspirational working working with him. Fantastic. Uh, by the way, uh, every time I go to the grocery store and I see a chicken pock pie, I think of that Just Shoot Me episode, and I have to yeah. say chicken pock, chicken pock, chicken pock pie. It drives my <laughs> wife absolutely insane. That's funny. Yeah. Great stuff. Uh, I guess the next fun question is, can you hire Cody and I for some jobs? <laughs> yeah, what do you want to do? What, what your skills? I can open up letters. Yeah, that's about it. That's about you. it. If you can put your feet up on a table, you're qualified to be I a was just, <laughs> I was just doing that. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. If, if people want to watch your videos and stuff, where, where they need to find you? Uh, on social media, I'm at Michael Jammin Writer. That's on hey, Instagram, TikTok, am... Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. I'm going to follow Thank you. right now. Thank you for all the advice. Really, it's it's really helpful. I really enjoyed these. This is this oh, any, stuff. my pleasure. Anytime. Thank you so much for having me. Right. See you, Michael. Bye. He's okay. great. Bye, bye now. He is great. I love him. Uh, Just shoot me. King of the Hill. Rules of Engagement. Beavis and Butthead. Wilford.
You probably didn't watch Wilford. No. It's about a talking dog. Oh. Uh, but uh, all that stuff, very funny. Good stuff. I, I wish I would have known the Beavis and Butthead. I could have asked him, do I actually look like Butthead? <laughs> <laughs> you, 